Because I was even smarter and more efficient. And I didn't just count out the tiles. I just looked it up. Load game. <laughs> Digging is real fun. Digging is real fun. <laughs> Digging is real fun. I really... <laughs> I'm so thankful that James put that in. <laughs> As a loading screen. That's so funny. Okay. So now that we have all the dimensions of the town's buildings, um, we are going to start mapping out where we want to put the buildings. Um, to Shark. I saw this pot teapot and thought it would really suit your house you mean okay uh from fletch thanks fletch you're a real gem uh you've been working hard i'll tell you what hasn't gone unnoticed because you've increased your skill there's a new level of logging license available to you perfect well, since Fletch thinks that this is going to be a really good addition to my tent, we're going <laughs> to put the teapot down there. Um, we're going to get the logging license right now, to be honest with you, because um, it's going to make... Well, we can't craft an axe at the moment. No, we need... Hopper. We have a keg. That's perfect. What do I need to build a keg again? Oh, I need iron. Yeah, I need iron. And there most likely is not any iron available up top. But we can make a copper axe, which means we need. Oh, well. Hmm. Uh. I wonder if if I make the rock paths, if it's going to be noticeable enough. The other thing we need to do is we need to stock up on some tools, so... Let's see if that's going to be noticeable enough. If not, then we'll have to figure something else out. Okay, so John's is four by five. So John's will go right there-ish. I don't like how close it is to the teleporter, though. I'm going to push it back quite a bit. I'm going to push it back to, like, here. Pickaxe. And absolutely a shovel. And then... Sell this broken stuff.
I can't see. Uh, like, I can see, but I can't see, so I'm just gonna go to bed. And that way I can just buy some more tools tomorrow anyway. Um... cool thing about the visitor tent is John's just open on like as soon as the sun comes up And if you're thinking to yourself, my shark, why do you have so many shovels and you haven't really used a shovel yet? You'll see. <laughs> You'll see eventually. Okay. 
All right, so I wonder if it updated. I'll probably have to go to bed, and then it'll update on the map a little bit more. All right, so we finally got everything set out. So John's is going to go right here. Franklin is going to go right here. Rain will go right here. Town Hall right here. Then we have Irwin. He's going to be set up right here. Part of me feels like I should change them so that they're flipped this way, but I can figure that out later. Uh, Melvin will go here. Clover will go right there. Sally will get set up right there. This will be the bank. And then this will be the museum. So we have all the buildings planned out, um, which is good. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to just take a couple of in-game days. So like, just like go to bed as soon as I hit up John's um, so I can get more tools and like have a bunch of tools ready. So that's what we're going to quickly do.
There we go. Wow, it really got cleared out, hey? Now that I'm taking a second to like sit back and admire my work, we might as well just put those there for the moment. <clears throat> that really got cleared out. John, let Fletch out of the get let Fletch out of the pond, John. Why are you such an asshole, John? John, let Fletch up. What an asshole. <laughs> now he's like chasing her into the water. How'd you get water on your nose, Butter? Butter? I meant to call you Bubba, but I guess your new nickname is Butter. Frickin' John. Mm. Mm-mm. Still not as bad as Melbourne. If it wasn't for the fact that I want the bank in pretty quickly so I can get interest on my sweet, sweet dinks, he would be the last one to move in. Because he's a creep. <laughs>